everyone welcome back to my channel it's Rachel Ray here and today we're going to flip through this magazine issue of ultimate cross stitch the East Asia edition this is volume number 25 from 2020 so I hope you'll enjoy I'm going to just go over what designs are in this issue and if you're interested in this I will put a link down below just to see if if it's available then you can use that link to purchase uh, and no I'm not affiliated with this company I just like to share all things cross stitch so let's get started there are some really really beautiful designs in here uh, especially if you love Asian culture you're gonna love this book uh, and it's got a variety of designs for different styles for different tastes so if you really love flowers, this border is beautiful. I absolutely adore this border. The inside, uh, the roses and things are not really my style, but I love that border so much. I hope that I can incorporate it into another piece of cross stitch. So here we have our table of contents. It shows you who the designers are and gives you a breakdown of where the certain designs live and then we'll get into it so this one is designed by Leslie Tier, and I apologize in advance if I mispronounce anyone's name um, so this is gorgeous <laughs> uh, it is an advanced cross stitch pattern but I think it's heavenly I love the border here there's little plum flowers there's also some beading in here I can see it in the center of these flowers um, and I think there's some beads here which are laid flat against the fabric and those are just gorgeous as well so yes I think this is beautiful absolutely stunning and we're gonna flip it says this one was designed can you see here I don't want to share the pattern but um, designed 140 by 140 stitches and this is on 28 count white even weave measuring 40 by 40 centimeter here's a little bit of extra information I don't think you're gonna get anything from that pattern but uh, it does have French knots in it so you need to be careful um, but there is quite a lot of detail in there so it's not for the beginner <laughs> let's put it that way it'll take a long time to do then we have this one this is from Diane Maschin um, this is actually stitched on Ada 14 count Ada the Japanese bell Isn't she beautiful and this also has beads in it in the flower up here I wish they had a, a bigger uh, photo for you but this one is not as advanced so and it won't take as long either because it's not a full stitch but you can see all the details here and one thing that I really like about this company is that they give you all the different um, varieties of floss that you might want to use in DMC anchor or Madeira just depending on what you have in your stash um, it gives you some details on how to frame and things like that as well which is good it's really good to have all those details before you commit to a project so here we have uh, another Leslie tier I like this one because her eyes are closed um, I, I just prefer closed eyes on cross stitch but that's just me <laughs> Um, this one is also an advanced kit, but I just, I think my favorite part is actually the teapot with the, the stand here. And I'll try to get you a better picture. Yeah, look at the little teapot. I'll bring it up for you. Isn't that cute? I really like it. Okay, and this one is... On 28 count even weave for the beading uh, 130 by 100 stitches oh, there we have a little advertisement oh here's another Leslie tier look at how beautiful she is I love the kimono just gorgeous 
So I hope you can see a theme here. <laughs> I just love these butterflies. So beautiful. This model is stitched on a 28 count light blue even weave that measures 40 by 38 centimeter. So it's quite big. Um, it might not look that big from the picture itself. I'm not sure if this is an actual photo of the stitching or if the stitching was um, scanned and then put into a model photo. Do you know what I mean? Into the center of this model. I'm not sure how they do it, but it's gorgeous and it would be quite big. So there's metallic threads in this one. And again, 28 count even weave. I can't show you that page either. So we'll just move on. Here's another one of hers. Wow, look at those cherry blossoms. Isn't that pretty? I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the yellow robe, but I do know that gold and yellow is very prominent in Asian culture for wealth and obviously and um and status so that's probably why she's wearing that um this one is on a 28 count white even weave and it does not have any beading but i'm sure that if you wanted to you could add some and that's an intermediate chart then i'm going to use my hand here we have this beautiful look at this okay it's hard to see, but I'll bring it up to you. This is like an orchid plant, but the flowers are popping off the canvas in these little balls. Uh, they call them uh, covered buttons. They're beautiful, just gorgeous. And it's designed by Susan Bates. She's using a 28 count white even weave that is 38 by 31 centimeters. And I believe, does it say? I don't know if it tells us what the symbol means. I'll just check for you there. No, I'm sorry, it doesn't tell me what the symbol is, but if you are familiar with it, maybe you can let me know down in the comment section. It's gorgeous though. Next one is by Marie Diaz. This is beautiful. Love it. It says that the sakura is the national flower of Japan and the symbol of hope and renewal. So I think you can, can you do this? No, it's definitely broken up into three sections, three designs to make the one display. I'm sure if you wanted to, you could connect them. If, yeah, here. <laughs> Match up the three designs and stitch them as one piece if you prefer for a more traditional finish. But I think it's gorgeous. That uh, palm frond, I kept wanting to switch the two words. The palm fronds there would be a beautiful touch in any home, I think. Ooh, look at that one. How colorful. And there's little gold sequins here. So cute. So. It says here that she'd seen a beautiful bird sitting in the branches outside her window with a striking flash of purple on his feathers. So she picked out a matching purple thread. And then an idea of vivid pink and purple came to mind and she added a few peonies and some green foliage and there you go so that's pretty awesome if you like flowers you might really enjoy stitching that to go ahead and cover this up as well so that one is 28 count even weave and it's not too big this one this one right here is my favorite my absolute favorite this is the one that i want to do um, I'm going to bring it up to the camera for you. I absolutely love this one. It's got those sequins as well and some beads for the top of the bird's head. It's got a little lantern as well. Now this is a 
a difficult picture because it's a pillow. <laughs> this is a Fabi Riley design, and I really enjoy her her work. This is a 28 count even weave as well that it's stitched on. And there are Mill Hill beads in this. They give you some tips in here, like you should iron your fabric before you add the sequins, which is good. I never would have thought about that um, because you don't want them to melt, but they're just so beautiful. I love these blues and the pinks together. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Okay. Here's Graceful Geisha. That's really pretty, isn't it? This one's an intermediate chart. This one also has beads in it. Um, this is by Shannon Wasleff. I apologize if I said that incorrectly. But this one is stitched on 14 count white Ada. But if you if you didn't know any any of the charts that call for 28 count even weave, you can do on 14 count Ada. There's no problem. In fact, you could do it on whatever count you want, but the thing about beads is that beads beads don't change their size normally. There's usually two two sizes of beads, and the 14 count Ada or 28 count even weave family is the best for beading. Linen is okay too, but you want it to be that size so that the beads will stay on. So that's that one. Here's the uh, the one we saw when we first opened. This is a Doreen Jones. <laughs> Gorgeous. This says it's an intermediate. There are French knots. There's no beads in this one. I don't know if she uses beads, to be honest, in hers. Uh, there is some metallic here in the fan. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it's gorgeous. Here we have some small fans by Fiona Baker. You can see that there's dragonflies, roses, some birds and butterflies. Which would be perfect for for a special someone, just a quick stitch. Uh, these are intermediates as well because they have fractional stitches and beading on them. But I think it would be really fun to do that and share that with with a friend making cards or something like that like they did here. I'm going to move a little bit quicker because I realized how long I'm taking but again if you're interested in this please check out the description box I'll try to link it down below if it's available. Here's another beautiful fan look at that and the idea of stitching it on a red even weave I mean that's perfect right? Just gorgeous. This one also has metallic thread in it, gold metallic thread for the center of the flowers. That is beautiful on that black even weave. Very pretty. All those colors just pop. Big rainbow of color. So any of you rainbow fans out there, I think you'd really enjoy that one. And here's a, a close-up detail. There's some metallic French knots, which are a little bit difficult, but it the end effect would be beautiful. Here we have one called the Perfect Vista. Wow, this is a full coverage cross-stitch pattern. So it looks small, but it's actually all of it is stitched. There's no bare space at all. So you may enjoy that. And here we have, oh, that is so pretty. The China Blue. Wow, it looks like it came directly from this cup. <laughs> Leslie does it again. That is beautiful. I love how uh, minimal it is on color. You know, in just a few shades of blue. Let me just see. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. Amazing. Just amazing, the level of detail you can get with so few colors. 
Uh, this one I really love as well. Eternal Flame by Fiona Baker. Uh, I believe these are Phoenix. Yes, uh, these are Phoenix. And um, finished in a hoop. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Everything in here is beautiful, <laughs> to be honest. Ooh, here we have a dragon. Look at the dragon. I love this border. This border is so funky. And with the colors of the dragon itself, yes. Yes, please. Here's another Susan Bates. There's a few different motifs here, and I believe if you wanted to, you could just stitch one or a few together. Um, just a just an idea, but you know, some of these would just look so cute together. Love it. Or you can stitch it all together. Here's some koi fish. <laughs> The Koi Pond. This is Carol Thornton's work. Isn't it amazing? This is a full coverage cross stitch as well. It looks like they have this stretched across a wooden frame. Uh, this is an intermediate and it would take a lot of time to do, but the effect is beautiful. The canvas says it measures 30 by 30 centimeter. Next up. Good Fortune by Doreen Jones. These are so adorable. I love Lucky Cats and these would just be darling if you wanted to do something small to send someone for Chinese New Year or just as a thank you or a miss you or good luck. Here we have Chinese lanterns. Look at the beads in it. Oh, they're so pretty. They just complement so well. So it says, like this one is a fan with a butterfly. Actually, they're all fans, excuse me. They're fans or lanterns, lantern, lantern. Oh, they're, sorry. Okay, these are all lanterns with butterflies and beautiful butterfly borders. I just love them. On Ada. Look at these little things. They're so cute. Chinese New Year gifts. Wouldn't it be so cute to hand these out? I think so. Oh my goodness. I think my favorite one is actually this one up here. <laughs> you probably know why. Oh, oh, oh. And there are... Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I didn't look, so I'm just going to peek. <gasps> There's all of the animals for Chinese New Year there. How cute! Cheryl McKinnon designed those. How adorable! Then we have an alphabet, which is really cool. Uh, these, it's called Sky Dancers. These are all dragonfly letters. They're pretty. They've got lotus flowers. I can't show you this paper. Oh. Cut it out, cut it out. So we have the dragonfly letters, and then we also have this one, which is called Tokyo Dreams, that she designed as well. And it's got a little bit more. It's got that like brush feel, and then it's got different animals and, and motifs and things. And that's it. At the end, there's a how-to guide. Uh, how to read the keys, what materials you need, how to do quarter stitches, and yeah, that's the end. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that this helped you to decide whether or not this issue of Ultimate Cross Stitch Magazine is right for you. I, I know that there's a lot of charts in here that I love and I would love to do, especially the pillow that I showed you earlier with the two birds and the butterfly. Yeah. So if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I'll see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.